Today we are going to discuss about the polynomial. In this polynomial, we have constant, variable, term, exponent, coefficient, polynomial, and last one, the degree of the polynomial. The first one is constant. So the constant is is a quantity. It does not change, or we can say that fixed value, fixed value. So for example, the fixed value two two is a fixed value, so it is a constant. Three is a fixed value, so it is a constant. Four is a fixed value, so it is constant, and so on. So we can say that all the real numbers are constant. The constants are denoted by small a, small b, small c, so on. Next, variable. Variable. Variable is also quantity. It may change. It is not a fixed value. It is denoted by small x, small y, small z, w, t, u, v, etc. And The examples for the variable, the price of the gold. The price of the gold, day to day life, it will be changed. Not only gold, the variable, uh, the the price of the rice, the price of the sugar, the price of the pen, so on. These are the examples. Now, and I purchased it. I purchased it. X kgs of onion. onions so the price of the price of onion is 6 six rupees per kg so i have to pay i have to pay 6 into x 6 into x that is 6x this 6x is nothing but it is a term the term is nothing but the product of the constant and variable. So the term is equal to the product of the constant and variable. Constant and variable. So now I am taking the phi is a constant and x is a variable. It become a phi x. If you are taking the 7 and y is a variable. 7 the, the term become a 7y if you are taking the 7 and x y x i comma y are the variables and 7 is a variable 7 is a constant the term becomes 7 x y so here 7 x to the power of 5 4 y cube 6 z square are the examples for the term now i am taking this 4 y square 4 y cube so 4 is a constant, it is a constant and y cube, y is a variable, it is having the power 3. This power is known as the exponent. The power is known as the exponent. This 4 is a constant is known as the coefficient of 4 y cube. So here 4 is a coefficient, y, 3 is a exponent. For here, 7x to the power of 5, 7 is the coefficient, 5 is the exponent. And also, 6z square, 6 is the coefficient and 2 is the exponent. So next here, 4x to the power of 5, 6x to the power of 5, 5y cube, 3z square are the terms. If you are adding or subtracting, it is a combination of these terms is known as the algebraic expression. Here 6 to the power of 6 into x to the power of 5 plus 5 into y cube plus 3 into z square is known as the algebraic expression. Here I can say that x to the power of 5 plus 5 y cube is also algebraic expression. Here 6 to x to the power of 5 plus 3 z square is also algebraic expression so algebraic expression is nothing but the combination of the terms is known as the algebraic expression mm. some more examples for the algebraic expression 4x square plus 7y square 
3 x to the power of 1 by 2 plus 5 y to the power of 1 by 3 3 into x to the power of minus 1 plus y this is a one term this is a one term it is a combination of the two terms it is algebraic expression it is a one term it is another term so it is also algebraic expression it is a one term it is a one term so it is also a combination of the two terms it is become a algebraic expression now we are going to discuss about the polynomial polynomial is a it is also algebraic expression but it, it is having the condition the power of the variable should be non-negative integer if it is the power of the variable is non-negative integer then algebraic expression is known as the polynomial so here x to the power of 2 it is integer y to the power of 2 it is also integer so this is algebraic expression is known as the polynomial here it is x to the power of 1 by 2 the power of x is 1 by 2 so it is not a polynomial here it is also it is algebraic expression it is having the power of the x is minus 1 so it is also not a polynomial so the the algebraic expression is said to be polynomial if the power of the variable should be non-negative integer. The definition of the polynomial in an algebraic expression in which the variable involved have only non-negative integral powers is called a polynomial. Examples are 4x square plus 3x plus 2 and 7y square plus 3y plus 5. Next the general form of the polynomial the general form of the polynomial is it is a the combination of the constant variable and non negative integer if variable is x the polynomial is denoted by p of x if a variable is y the polynomial is denoted by p of y the constants are a0 a1 a2 a3 swan a n and non negative integers are 0 1 2 3 4 up to n so the general form of the polynomial is a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 x to the power of n minus 2 so on plus a 1 x plus a naught a naught it is denoted by p of x p of x is equal to a n x to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 a 1 x plus a naught these constants are belongs to real numbers and uh, where a non name 0 1 2 3 4 swan n are non negative integers Next, the degree of the polynomial. The degree of the polynomial is the largest degree of its variable. So, the highest degree of the term variable is known as the degree of the polynomial. Example, 3x to the power of 2 plus 5x plus 7. So, this polynomial consists of three terms. This is one term, second term, third term. It is a, a here it is a x to the power 7 means 7 into x to the power of 0. The power is the power of variable is 0. Here it is the power of the variable is 1. In this 3x square, the power of the variable is 2. 3x square, the term 3x square is a term which is the highest degree among the remaining terms. So here the 2 is uh, is known as the degree of the polynomial it two, this 2 is the largest degree of these three terms so the degree of the the degree of the given polynomial is 2 another example 4x to the power of 5 plus 7x square plus 7 so here in this also the phi is the highest power of the variable so phi is degree of the given polynomial